Oh, so many questions. I know, and our answers are pretty good too. Absolutely. <laughs> now it's time for Leo to get his gold back in Leo's fortune. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay. What is this mysterious contraption? Leo's Fortune is a mobile adventure platformer where you play the fuzzy French moustached Leopold, or Leo to his friends. Someone has stolen his gold and it's your job to find out the truth behind his missing fortune. That's right, Hex, and he's pretty adorable, isn't he? <laughs> so majestic. Yeah, but... What, how, where did you get that moustache? What, this moustache? I just grew it. It's 100% natural. Well, I think it makes you look more sophisticated, Barjo. And more France. Oh, why, thank you, Darren. Hey, we could be the new Mario Brothers and we could have levels set in French Perth. Engaging moustache mode. Guys, this is a bit weird. Just roll with it, Hex. Just roll with it. The game is full of plenty of puzzle-packed levels and a good mix of locations. Affirmative, Barjo. There are some stylish landscapes to traverse, including forests, towns, underwater locations, deserts, and snowy mountains. <laughs> And such nice variety, Darren. I mean, the first thing that struck me about this game were the visuals. It's just beautiful. Scenic environments cover the horizon, and the delightfully designed buildings are so inviting, not to mention the charming animations. Whoa! The art style in this game is brilliant. It is just so beautiful, especially for a mobile game. And the controls are fairly simple. You swipe the left side of the screen to move, and the right side to jump and dive. I love how Leo's body puffs up every time he jumps. Me too, and that surprised look he gets in his face when he inflates. The fluid controls really come in handy for the well-designed platforming in this game as well. Leo slides, jumps, and floats around collecting his gold throughout the levels, all while navigating the harsh obstacles. Ah, yes, there are so many different dangers. Affirmative. There's a plethora of perils. You'll be up against falling objects, wind, spikes, saws, and lava. I was disappointed at how repetitive the obstacles got in later levels. Yeah, and I also noticed they'd often repeat the pattern of obstacles as well. Like this part where you're dodging circular saws over and over. Yeah, that was a bit frustrating, wasn't it? Although I did enjoy the manoeuvring puzzles. There's lots of switches, levers, and moving platforms to interact with. And all of your movements have to be performed with precise patience and timing. Affirmative. There is quite a level of skill involved to navigate these puzzles, and a poorly timed jump easily sends Leo to his death. Oh. Whoa, formidable beard, Hex! Oh. And those deaths will decide how many stars you score on each level, so it's quite difficult to get those three star ratings. But we should wrap this up, Bajo. What are you giving it? Well, Hex, like we've said, it is a beautiful game and it also has a lovely soundtrack, so I'm going to give it eight and a half out of ten rubber chickens. It was a little on the short side for me, but I do love the look of it and I loved helping Leo collect his gold, so I'm going to give it eight out of ten. Beard's just coming off a bit there, Hex. Just... It's fine. Yeah. Uh, you look great, though. Oh, oh it, looks, it looks fine.